What's up, everybody? King Triple C here, the Olympic champ, the flyweight champ, and the bantamweight champion of the world. Anyhow, you guys stay tuned, and you guys don't forget to hit up Artem MMA Analysis on YouTube. Because if you don't, you guys can all do me a favor and bend the knee to King Triple C. Alright, this next fight we've got Shantae Barnes versus Joseph Holmes. Joseph Holmes is actually a late notice replacement for Cody Brundage, who in his last fight we saw fight Nick Maximov at UFC 266. Both guys are more natural middleweights, but they are fighting at um, 205 pounds for this fight because of the late notice. To start off with, the level of competition that Shantae Barnes has been fighting is uh, it's not really that high. 4-21, 0-6. 6 and 5 and he drew with that guy 15 and 90 and 13 and 17 so he's been fighting very experienced guys I'll give him that credit he's been fighting experienced guys but guys that have lost significantly more than they have won but uh, Joseph Holmes on the other hand he has not necessarily fought the best competition either but I would say there's an argument to be made that he has been fighting better competition he's fought at Bellator twice actually his one loss was at Bellator, and he's fought in LFA twice as well. His most recent win coming over Dwayne Diggs only about a month ago. But uh, this guy stays active uh, when he's fighting. Uh, does Joseph Holmes. So, let's get on to Sean Tay Barnes. And uh, I'm sorry about the quality of this video, guys. It's, it's really low quality, but it's it's all um, it's all I could find of this fight. So, Sean Tay Barnes has got four knockout wins and two submission wins. He finishes all of his victories. He walks his opponents down and he looks really good on the feet. And uh, as you can see here, he's very confident on the feet. He just um, put his hands below his hips before uh, throwing a few bombs there. But, uh, he does not throw uh, too many strikes, but uh, every time that he does throw, it is with very bad intentions. He likes to take the center of the stage and he does like to counter strike. So I'll show you guys the pretty nasty finish that is this fight. Oh man, sorry guys, I uh, skipped a bit too much there. So as you can see, man, when he throws, he throws with a lot of power. And uh, unfortunately his opponent, who uh, was 0-6 at the time, could not really handle it. And after this, he kind of just, um, he actually shows off a little bit of a little bit of wrestling in this point. He shows a decent amount of top control, and uh, just ends up finishing the fight with some ground and pound. So, uh, pretty good performance by Shante Barnes in this point. His opponent was 0-6 at the time, but... Yeah, man, pretty ruthless ground and pound. When he senses a finish, he goes for it. Sorry about that. And, um, yeah, um, let's move on to the next guy. We've got Joseph Holmes versus uh, Ryan Leninger. Ryan Leninger was 4-1 at the time. I think Joseph Holmes was, like, 3-1 at the time. So, yeah, let's get into this fight in LFA. Daily Motion always scares me because I get so many advertisements when I watch on this website that we'll see what happens. So... Joseph Holmes, he's actually got a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he also has a random Muay Thai belt win. Joseph Holmes is six foot four, and I think that he is actually going to benefit the most from this fight um, taking place at 205 pounds. His most recent fight at LFA was also a short notice two weeks fight and took place at 200 pounds. So, yeah, man, I mean, he's six foot four. I think he's going to benefit a lot more uh, from this fight being at 205 pounds than his opponent, Shantae Barnes, will. But um, when he's in the cage, he's very composed, and he really likes to dictate the range. You will see that he throws a lot of push kicks. I mean, as I was saying, that he just threw a push kick, and he throws a lot of jabs as well. Um, but uh, overall, man, I can just see uh, Joseph Holmes having the bit better skill set all around. Uh, he's he's going to be taller. He's going to be a lot longer in the cage. And he's going to be able to maintain the distance when it when it's uh, when it's on the feet, and uh, if he wants to take the fight to the ground, he can because he's got that blue belt in Bra Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and quite a few decent submission wins on his record as well. So I've got um, Joseph Holmes in this fight. I think that he will get the job done, and uh, yeah, he could get it done on the feet or <laughs> on the ground. But uh, you'll you'll see in this fight, man. Joseph Holmes has really good range management. You can see that uh, if you rewatch this fight or you go and watch it uh, just on daily motion yourself, you will see that he actually makes Leninger miss a lot by just being on the very end of his punches. So this is where I found out that he is a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on this little um, 
I think it's like a like a um, like a brand that sponsors them. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's just where I got his information. So uh, yeah, Joseph Holmes, six foot four. I think he's gonna beat Shante Barnes here. And um, wow, okay, this is my first time looking at the uh, topology predictions, and I did not realize how lopsided it was. So many people going with a submission. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe that could happen, but I think Holmes could also possess a pretty decent. Um, He's got a good skill set on the feet as well, so if he wants to keep the fight on feet on the feet at range as well, I mean that could happen. But yeah, I've got Holmes. I've got him inside the distance. Nothing in particular by KO or by submission in this one here. All right, gonna make this as fast as I possibly can. I just want to give a shout out to Fanatics Fantasy MMA. They're an app on iOS and Android. And um, man, you join my group. I've got a public group on there, and what you do is you pretty much make your picks and predictions. So maybe you're really confident in Jan Blachowicz by KO, maybe like Piotr Jan decision, just something like that. You can join my group, and if your picks are the most correct and you become part of my leaderboards, once you join the group, you will be in to win some money. I will be giving out $20 to first place of the month, $10 to second place of the month, and $5 to third place of the month. So if you're really good and you're able to get first or second every single month, you're pretty much getting your UFC fight pass paid for you. So, um, yeah, definitely worth uh, joining. You can begin to win some prizes as well. And uh, really trying to build up a little community inside this MMA league. And you will be competing against other people in the league and comparing your picks with others as well. So if you're really confident in your fight picks, but you've got nothing to really compare it with, join my MMA league now. And you can also be in to win some prizes with those picks.